up, y'all? And welcome to another episode. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video. Hit the join button and become a member. Now, my, my big sister, April, I'm going to go ahead and say her name, says that she's been watching my videos and she hasn't seen any ads playing. She thinks it's because I be using foul language in my videos, that I be cursing. What do you guys think? I'll let you decide. Even though in this video, just to be safe, I'm going to do my best not to use not one curse word. The Pelican Bay Riot. There are two sides to this riot, people. You may have already heard both. Let me give you the, the black perspective perspective the black side you may have already heard that let me give you my side now i am not the repository of all truth and i know that some people have an insatiable appetite for half truths i'm just going to present both sides and let you make the decision on what really happened on that fateful day February 23rd, 2000. First, I'm going to give you the war between the blacks and the whites in Pelican Bay. The blacks that I've spoken with. First, let me say, I've never been to Pelican Bay. So I wasn't there when this happened. I was, however, incarcerated on a level four. I was in high desert at the time. So I know everything that happened there. I was com in communication with people up there, naturally. Now, <clears throat> the whites, the, the black people that I've spoken with, that was up there, they will always believe that the riot between the blacks and the Southsiders in February of 2000 was over the Southsiders helping the whites, over the Southsiders helping the precious whites who had just lost this war with the blacks and the Southsiders were upset at how the blacks did the whites in the war. And so they decided to defend them and help them out. This is what black people believe. And in my estimation, will always believe. The Southsiders have a different story. They said that it was over a J-Cat that had disrespected their people and the blacks refused to get them off the yard. I'll explain both as I said and let you make the, make the judgment. First, the war with the whites. Well, in August, of 1999 there was a jcat white jcat means someone who's 5150 not all the way there takes psych psychiatric meds medication these jcats should not be on the yard in fact according to the southsiders that's why the riot happened over a black jcat but now so both of these wars supposedly happened over J-Cats. Well, not supposedly in the case of the blacks versus the whites war, it was certainly unquestionably over a white J-Cat who was in the chow hall one day. And when they were going, uh, releasing child saying you know stand up child is over releasing that table the white guy stood up and attacked a black guy he slit his you know what now the black guy he didn't know that that his throat had been slit he didn't know that and he just thought the white guy had attacked him and so he got up and he fought the white guy, maxed him out. They said, get down, get down. They both got down. Everybody in the child hall got down. 
the black guy happened to grab his neck and see that he was bleeding from his neck, that in fact he had been cut by the white guy. He became enraged, naturally. He jumped back up and got on the white guy some more, beat him up some more. They had to spray and basically pull this guy off of the white guy. He survived, and everybody went back to their cells. Now, when they came out for yard, because the administration, normally, it would be a lockdown over something like that, of course, to circumvent a riot, to try to quell things and see if everyone can come to a resolution. More than likely, that would never happen when it's one race against another and someone has been attacked, and particularly when a weapon has been involved. There would be no peace treaties at that juncture. And so the administration said, well, since the white guy is a J-cat, you know, maybe the black guys are not going to trip over that. They know he's a J-cat. And so they assumed that nothing was going to happen. And they let everybody off lockdown, or, or there never was a lockdown. And so when they came out for yard the next day or so, the blacks began to group up on the yard, and they were discussing this. The blacks called one of the head Southsiders over towards them and said, I know we're grouping up on the yard. This is not for you guys. You guys know what happened. They just slit, you know what, of our people. That's why, right? That's why we're grouping up. And they told the Southsiders, we're not going to let that slide. We're grouping up for a reason. It's about to go up. We're not going to let that slide. We understand he was a J-cat. So what? A weapon was involved. And the guy who he slit was a stand-up gentleman, had respect and love. I wouldn't encourage you to let that go either, J-Cat or not. And they didn't let it go. And so they told the Southsiders, we're grouping up. This is not about you guys. At Yard Recall, all of the blacks attacked the whites. All of the blacks attacked all of the whites on the yard. From my understanding, they got the best of the whites. This was a planned out thing. This was a planned attack. Uh, they came out uh, of their cells ready to go up. Ready in every way. After that, they were on lockdown for however long, apparently not too long, and they began to release them back to the yard, the blacks and the whites. But they were doing a slow release, releasing two and three cells at a time. However, every time they released two or three cells and let blacks and whites on the yard together, there would be another assault with a weapon, period. There was a war. It was on site over this incident and over this riot, beginning with the incident in the chow hall, with him slitting the black guy's throat. And so the war was on. They were attacking each other on the yard for months. And the blacks were the aggressors and apparently getting the best of the whites. There are, only, there are not that many whites there. What, I, I wasn't there, I don't have to be. I just know the system. There are not that many there compared to blacks, no. So they were getting the best of them. This is really irrefutable. And eventually, 
one of the white guys came to the blacks and was asking for a truce, a peace treaty. The blacks feeling like they had did what they had to do, had made their point, had pretty much got the best of them. Over this five and six months, they said, okay, we'll let it go now. At some point it has to end, we'll let it go now. The whites, or one of the whites at least, then went to the South Siders and told the South Siders, just so you know, the war with the blacks is over. We just called a truce. That's a wrap. That's done. According to word, the South Sider responded and said, what? How can the war be over and you're still here? Your strong comrades are gone over the war. They did what they had to do. They got attacked. They attacked back. They kept attacking each other. They're gone. And now since they're gone, you're calling the truce. Man, you weak. Get out of the way. According to word, <clears throat> this is verbatim. <clears throat> this is what was said. Get out of the way so we can show you how it's done. This is in February where the war is over with the whites. The same month that the Southsiders attacked the blacks. Again, according to the Southsiders, they have their reasons, which I'm going to get into. The reason that they say they attacked the blacks. But if this is true, then how come the Southsider is telling the white, man, you weak, y'all weak, get out of the way, and we're going to show you how it's done. Now, they say it was over a J-Cat and the incident that happened with this black J-Cat. But this incident transpired before the war with the whites. This is a fact. And so, if the incident transpired before the war with the whites, why wait until after the war with the whites to then take up war with the blacks over an incident that happened prior to? Well, many blacks believe, I can understand why, I'm just putting two and two together in my head, that you waited until we were weakened because we just had a war. So now many blacks are in the hole. Many weapons are no longer on the yard. Many blacks who are willing to use those weapons, they've already done so against the whites for the last five and six months. The war started in August with the whites of 1999 and it ended in February of 2000 so six months and then as soon as the war ended literally as soon the same month a few days later while the blacks are just focused on the war with the whites making sure that's really over recovering the recuper recuperating from a, a a six-month protracted war, they get attacked by a, total, a, a, a whole nother group. Now, again, they said it wasn't over the whites. Whether it was or it wasn't, <clears throat> one thing's for sure. In my estimation, it was pretty sneaky to wait pretty 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 low down to wait until the war was over with the whites and we don't even have our eyes on you guys thinking that there's something going on with you we're so we're totally focused on the whites we having a war with them and even though the war has just concluded we're not certain that it's over that's the word time to tell 
So we're still focused on them. And our guard is down against you. And then you attack us, the blacks that's left on the yard. Because a lot were already gone. A lot of strong dudes were gone in the hole. They had already put in their work against the whites. So either way, whether it was for the Southsiders protecting the whites or not, one thing's for sure, they waited until that war with the whites was over, which gave them a decided advantage. And they had the element of surprise on their side as well and preparation. And that's the war with the whites and the blacks. And that's how that started. It went on for six months. The whites asked for a truce, a peace treaty. The blacks agreed and it was over. It was done. It was really a done deal. Again, at some point, these wars do come to a conclusion. They have to in order for life to carry on at some point. But as soon as it was over, as soon as the black men agreed to a truce with the whites and thought everything was back to program and business as usual, they were attacked by the Southsiders days later. Mm. Again, the Southsider side. Well, they say we wasn't protecting the whites. We had our reasons for why we attacked the blacks. I say either way, whether your reason is legitimate or not, no one can deny that you had a decided advantage at the time that you attacked, at the time that you chose to attack. I too say, why wait? If the incident happened before the incident with the whites even happened and that war even started, the incident with the South Side and the Black happened. Well, they have their reason as to why they said they waited. I'll give you that reason. I'll give you the South Sider side. In the name of parity, in the name of being fair, I'll give you their side next as to why the riot transpired. And I'll let you make the decision. Are they being honest? Or were they protecting the whites in their attack of black people? I'll let you decide, people. I have my opinion. I'll withhold it for now, and I'll let you make the decision when I bring you their side of the Pelican Bay riot next.